Series, Harlem Globetrotters will bring their spectacular show to the Berglund Center in only a few weeks. Actually, it's 10 days. And we are talking to Zeus ahead of the event to see what we can expect. Thank you so much for coming in. No problem. How you doing, Brittany, on a box? I'm on a box, <laughs> if you don't know that. Okay, he is... Six foot eight. Yes. Is that right? I'm six eight in the So books. I want to see. Okay, this is this is real life back right here. Out. here you this back is to back? oh back to back. This there is what it really looks like. Yeah, you're okay, so I'm gonna step back up here. Um, so if somebody has not gone and seen the Globe Trotters, tell us what can we expect. Well, this year you'll see a lot of high flying slam dunks from people like myself. You'll see uh, half court trick shots and crowd participation that's unrivaled in sports. We'll even come up into the stands there next Thursday and bring you guys down. Uh, spin the ball on your finger. Maybe accidentally have a bucket of confetti or water. But as you look out there in the crowd, out right now you know you'll see somebody 10 years old somebody 20 years old and somebody in their 70s and everybody has a huge smile on their face so you're guaranteed to have a good time with this that is so exciting. So um, you're actually an ambassador. So yes. tell us a little bit about that, what so, you do. To be a Harlem Globetrotter, you got to be a great athlete, great basketball player, extremely handsome. But besides that, you also <laughs> have to be a good person. And we go outside of the court all the time and we do other things. Earlier today, I was at a school talking to some kids about the anti, uh, about the ABCs of bullying prevent, prevention. Okay. Um, later on today, I'm going to go to a children's hospital. We have this program called Smile Patrol. That's where I go into some of the rooms. I just try to put a smile on the kids' faces, uh, whether spinning the ball on their finger or, you know, telling them a cool little joke. Uh, you know, I just try to um, do the best I can everywhere that we go, and the Globe Charts have been doing that now for the last 91 years. That's amazing. And I want to talk a little bit about you. Um, you have a pretty interesting story. Uh, you don't give up at all, mm -hmm. right? So tell us about your story. So I actually didn't make my first basketball team until the 11th grade. I got cut from 6th grade all the way to 10th grade, and in the summer of 10th grade, a miracle happened. Without a box, I actually grew 5 <laughs> inches over the summer. And wow. uh, a lot of my coaches and teammates all said the same thing to me, though, when I did make my Team. They said I was too nice. And in order to be good in basketball, they said you got to have a killer instinct, you know, mm -hmm. and I, I never developed that. I'm a minister at my church, so I'm a naturally nice person. And um, eventually I had a coach tell me, you know, all you ever want to do is smile and dunk, smile and dunk. That's all you do. And today I get paid to smile and dunk. So, you know, yeah. it worked out for me. Yeah, absolutely. So, I mean, do you have to try out to become a globetrotter? Is that how it works? It's just like any professional team. We have scouts that go out. Um, okay. And if you make the, the uh, if the scouts uh, are interested in you, they'll invite you out to our training camp where we have a uh, in Atlanta, Georgia, it's about two weeks long in December, and if you make it through the training camp process, then uh, you can uh, be a Harlem Globetrotter. Wow. Okay. Well, we're going to give you all the details for the Globetrotters. It's happening March 23rd, 7 p.m. You can get your tickets at theberglincenter.com or give them a call, 853-5483. Zeus, thank you so much for coming in. Thanks, Brittany. Thanks for having me. Amazing.